here we go. This will be a fun one. Let's talk about The Firing Squad, which is in theaters now. Um, I talk a lot about Christian faith-based movies. Uh, and I, I've mentioned uh, over the last last year or so, the ones we've been re reviewing have been uh, pretty good. It uh, is elevated itself from what I remember Christian movies being from the 80s. And The Firing Squad brings me back to the 80s and bad <laughs> Christian faith movies. Um, let me grab the... So the story is basically this. Uh, Peter, uh, James Barrington plays Peter Lone. Uh, he's a guy who uh, kind of bored with life and decides he's going to get into drug dealing. Um, and so he's an international drug dealer. And uh, the one thing is, is that uh, he's just pushing the, the crime a little bit too far. And he winds up doing dealings in Indonesia and gets caught. And in Indonesia, the, uh, the punishment for drug dealing is death. And uh, so he is caught and he is thrown in jail and he is uh, given the death, death penalty. And uh, while, in the, while in prison, he, uh, he tries to escape with his buddies, uh, his brother, uh, who's not in this picture, but also with Cuba, Cuba Gooding Jr. Uh, they run off, escape the prison, but they are caught and thrown in solitary confinement. And while in solitary confinement, uh, another drug dealer, now reformed person, Pastor Lindbrook, played by Kevin Sorbo, hands him a Bible. And during his time in uh, solitary confinement, he reads the Bible and becomes saved. And uh, what this movie is really about is about men who are in this international prison, treated horribly, uh, ready to go to the death penalty, and, uh, and here for Peter to find Christ and gain that confidence that when he is going to be executed, he's going to go to a better place. Um, this movie, uh, like I said, pretty reminiscent of my uh, my early days of Christian uh, faith-based movies. It's not good. Um, you know, ultra low budget. And this is very ultra low budget acting. I, I think, you know, you've got Kevin Sorbo and Cuba Gooding Jr. They're okay, but not even they could uplift a bad script. Um, it's very heavy handed. You know, a lot of the discussions at the beginning of the movie was, oh, I don't believe in God. I'm an atheist. Oh, God this, God that. And then it's like, oh, I, I read the Bible, John 3, 16. Now I'm saved. And, you know, God has a plan for your life. You know, it's just very heavy handed, very, very much like that. Um, you know, look, uh, as a Christian myself, I, I believe God can work through anything. God could work through this movie. Um, when I was growing up, there is a movie called A Thief in the Night, which was about the rapture. And I know at least 12 of my friends who got saved from that movie. And then when I saw that movie, I was like, how the hell did you get saved by this movie? So God can use anything. And um, and in the case of The Firing Squad, only God can get you saved <laughs> from watching this movie. So, um, yeah, not I'm not I can't give it a recommendation. There are better movies. Um, I would say the person who does faith-based movies the best is Dallas Jenkins. Um, and uh, I would watch his stuff. But, uh, you know, it's a matter of taste. And again, God could speak through an ass. Uh, why not be able to speak through this movie? So there you go. Yeah, I saw the trailer for this and it looked terrible. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looked very heavy-handed. And um, I mean, I'm not opposed to faith-based. Just make a good movie first and then God can kind of be there subtly underneath. Yeah. I think a movie that does that well, which is not considered a faith-based film is M night's uh, uh, signs. Mm -hmm. M night Shyamalan signs is uh, it's got a faith, a message of faith in the movie, mm -hmm. but no one considers that movie a faith film. It's science fiction and it's an M night movie. Yeah. So, but yeah, really, I, saw yeah I hear people say that, uh, that groundhog's day is, is a faith film. No, oh, I didn't really think of that. Well, it's it's kind of like what is I've asked this question many times, but what is the movie you've seen that has nothing to do with God and religion, but has the best Christian message? And most people come up with Groundhog Day, uh, just a story of redemption, basically redemption yeah. over time.